My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. We got New Balances in size 10 and a half. These absolutely break. No, dude, request. Oh yes, I got it, wow, dude. This morning I was able to cop some Supreme Oreos. They restocked a bunch of them. Checkouts that I got were all eight quantity. Yeezy 700 Wave Runners. That is such a bright red, but it is a very beautiful. I sold a few more things on eBay and StockX, all of which are supposed to be shipped out by today, so I gotta go out again. But this time, I'm gonna be bringing you. We will find out whether or not they will drop, and then we'll find out whether or not we can cop on the next episode. Stussy X Nike collab is going to be dropping today. I didn't initially plan to go for this drop, but it does seem like these are quite limited and the retail price is somewhat low. So going for these wouldn't be such a bad idea. I'm only gonna go for the better sizes and the fossil colorway of the sneaker for the most part. So let's see how we end up doing. I would not be surprised at all if Shoe Gallery just dropped like zero stock. Last drop they did, they dropped like one or two pairs. So I have very low expectations for this one. No, they... Somebody cop like 10 of them shits. No, okay, not 10, but like 5. And it's all the wrong thing. I didn't get declined. But I could have been really freaking bad. <laughs> the chat is freaking out right now. That makes no sense. Why is a product name Stussy Air Reserve and then it's a bag? That is absolutely crazy. So basically anybody who was running Project Frenzy and trying to cop the fossil colorway instead checked out tote bags. And I'm not sure if this was the developer's fault because according to the name of the product, it was the shoes. But when they checked out, they actually checked out bags. So I have no idea. But Mango Frenzy, which also has a request mode for Frenzy, they didn't seem to have this issue at all and it seemed like a lot of their members feasted. However, I do have to give credit where it's due. Project Frenzy has been absolutely destroying these past few Frenzy releases. However, I just suck at using them. I'm still trying to learn about what works for me. It did seem like somebody messed up somewhere. It could have been on Shoe Gallery Miami's end or Project Frenzies and who knows, but that absolutely sucks for the people who did cop multiples of the tote bag. Thankfully for me, I got payment declined, so I guess that's good. Anyway, Supreme EU restocked the Air Force once, so it is very likely that the US is going to do that as well. I'm gonna start running my bots at 11 a.m. and see if they end up releasing them.
Not exactly very happy with the results today. After everything was said and done, the only thing I got was one Supreme Black Air Force One size 9. And that is pretty bad considering I did use Cyber and Mech which absolutely feasted. But anyways, tomorrow we do have a very, very, very important release. We have the Yeezy 350 Cinder Reflectives. Unfortunately, I don't have Splash Force, which is the absolutely best bot for Yeezy supply. But I do have Phantom Nike Shoe Bot and Kodai, which should work all right. So we'll see how we end up doing tomorrow. I was just about to sleep and then I got the notification that the splash page is alive. It was rumored that it was supposed to drop at 10 tomorrow, but it is going to be dropping. What the f was that? But it is going to be dropping at 12 a.m. All right, so let's try to get these. So that was probably one of the worst releases I've ever experienced. So they put the product up and then they put the sale on hold. Then the product is up again and the sale is on hold again. And even while it's on hold, some people were able to check out. The captures were messed up and the website was messed up. Easy releases are usually very good at wasting people's time. So the release started around 12 a.m. And then people started really checking out more towards the 2.30 a.m. time frame, if I'm not mistaken. And as I've expressed before, I feel like all of these anti-bot measures are really only screwing up all of the manual users. A lot of people were able to get tons of checkouts, especially for those people who were using Splash Force. But I was able to get away with one checkout, admittedly, that is such a bad result considering how much stock there was. There was 15k stock. That was the rumored stock numbers. And I should have been able to get more than one and the one that I got was a terrible size. And I found out what I was doing wrong. Basically, I used the wrong type of data center proxies for my captures. And when it comes to Yeezy supply, captures are very, very important. It's not like the regular captures where you have to solve a puzzle. It uses Capture V3, which is actually invisible. And many people speculate that the quality of your Gmail accounts affect how fast you can get past through Splash. But since I was using the wrong type of data center proxies for my capture harvesters, those proxies ended up slowly dying and getting really, really slow. And it took me a really long time to notice it, which is what led me to have a really bad performance for this release. Even though I did get one, I still somewhat consider it to be an L just because I definitely should have done better. Another reason why I didn't catch my mistake so early on is because this is something that I've been doing for a while actually and this has worked for me in the past which is why in my mind I wasn't doing anything wrong but now I know. So despite all of the bad things there was some good that came out of it. Number one I was able to learn something new and number two the day right after the release I actually got a hold of Splash Force. So the next easy supply release I'm expecting to do really good at least way better than how I did right now so shout out to the Splash Force guys for hooking me up with a copy next up it is rumored that Supreme Motion logo hoodies and beanies are going to be dropping this week since I know I'm not very good at Supreme I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different this time so we'll see how we end up doing then
What? I'm getting redirected. What the fuck is that? Got one. Got two. Got. Oh my god, dude. What the? F Bro, I'm checking out like a hundred. Holy sh. Do I have any more money left in my bank account? What is happening? Holy crap! Dude! Yo! Dude! What? What is the stock? I've never cooked so hard in Supreme in my life before. What the f? Holy sh! Extra large black, extra large white, holy f <laughs> Holy sh dude, I there it's impossible. I have to have duplicates. It restocked, it restocked. I got processing on a bunch of shit. <laughs> dude, there is no there, there's no way I can pro check out anymore because, like, just look at this. I think, I think every single one of my billing profiles had successfully checked out. absolutely nuts i got so many checkouts i probably got more checkouts than i do billing profiles so it would lead me to assume that at least a few of those are ghost orders and that's why i'm not gonna do a checkout recap of how many i cop because i really don't know which orders went through and which orders didn't that being said, I did mention that before the live cop, I was going to be changing a few things with my setup. And it looked like the things that I ended up changing did end up working. So when I say when it comes to botting, when it comes to learning how to do it properly, learning how to cop, it really comes down to trial and error and experience and the proper guidance. Now, I just have to hope that these don't break. However, I did look at the feedback for some people who don't have bots and apparently, it looked like it loaded out of stock. So it leads me to believe that this is somewhat of a bot exclusive release. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're gonna see how the prices end up looking, but I do believe we should be able to make decent profit off of every single one of these checkouts. Speaking of Supreme, we do have some packages that came in from them. So let's open them up. Here we have some more Oreos. I do have to admit I am having quite a hard time selling these on eBay and I kind of don't get it because there are a lot of people successfully being able to sell these for good profit margins. I've made several different variations of listings to make sure that I cover all bases, but I still haven't gotten a sale yet. And it might have something to do with them just restocking these over and over again, but we'll just have to see. Hopefully we can make sales on them, but these are so cheap that it would be very difficult not to at least make a small profit off of each one. And here is the size nine Air Force One that I hit on the restock the other day. And I think I'm going to try out stadium goods. I might ship some things out over there because my boy 718 said that he shipped some stuff out over there and everything went through smoothly. So we're gonna try that very soon. And I think this is gonna be one of the shoes that I ship out there simply because it's pretty cheap, low profit margin, not something I particularly care too much about. Anyways, in a couple of days, we do have Yeezys dropping, we have Jordan 1s dropping, we got some important releases, and we'll see how I do on those on the next episode.